Now I went and grabbed my bucket seats. I'm going to put an S10. A little bit dirty. Need a cleaning. I'm blow them off with some air. Here's the mounts. They didn't fall off on the trip. Need to clean the metal off the back of them. Probably punch a couple holes in them and tack them to the floor. Before I'm going to do the mounts all shined up with holes punched in them, drilled in them. Ready to be installed. Now all I need to do is take them over to the cap. Decide which ones are which. Those don't matter. Obviously these two are different. I think I got these two where they need to be. Had the seat in there. Place them where they need to be. Mark the holes. Let's ground it. Did the front to it. Probably need a little persuasion there because it's sticking up a little bit. I need to plug that hole. I don't know why that hole is in the floor. Alright, got them both welded in where they need to be. The rear and the front. Let that cool down. I'll set the seat in here, but I'll probably do that side. And set them both in here. Well, I got the passenger side rear one in. And I went to do the front one that I got. Now the donor vehicle had the buckets in it. Apparently the floor was different in that one. There's a big old gap underneath there. So, I have to make a piece of metal. Here I just go across it like that. And bend it down to the floor. And just weld it on the floor down here. So I'm sure I ought to hold it. Good enough, it's pretty stout there. Probably should stick something going down to it so I get that fabbed up. And Weld it in here. Now looky at what we got here. We got bucket seats. Sitting in the cab. They're not bolted down because they need to come back out. But they're where they need to be. I figured out the mount on the other side. Where it was not the same as this cab. Those mounts are out of a blazer. I don't know if the floor is different, it depends on what year it is or what, but I'll pull the seat out here so you can look at it. They're welded in, got those other holes welded shut. Back one's welded in, front one's welded in. What I did is just bend a piece of metal, 90 degree. Welded it on there, welded it on there, welded it to the floor. For some reason, the other cab must cut off here somewhere. I don't know why. It didn't run the floor back or it just kind of goes like that. I don't know. But that works. Nice and solid. Somebody's riding with me. They shouldn't go flying around inside the cab anywhere, I guess. If anybody's got the guts to ride with me. Well, since the seat's in there, might as well have a seat or sit in it. Let's see what it feels like. Feels pretty good. My head's a little close to the headliner up here, but S10's got a lot of leg room in it, and there's nothing up here. I'm 6'5 feet straight forward. Feels pretty good. Even right there ain't too bad, but time to get a brake pedal in there and a gas pedal and get you a steering wheel up in there. Probably somewhere in there. Just imagine we're going down the track. Going... Try not to hit the guardrail. <laughs> Anyways, need the mouth console brackets because there's a console I'm gonna put in here so I can rest my arm on it. And I'll have a mega shifter here somewhere wherever it's comfortable for me. Probably be further back than most people would have it. I need all the room I can get. I need to go get my console. Now I got the brackets because I cut the brackets off the floor out of the truck I took it out of. I think it might have been the same when these seats are out of. I can't remember. It's been a while ago. They're riding something I got to hunt parts for. 
sometimes years before I get up. Dead back on the roof. That's why I'm slow on this project. Like I said, this is one of the first projects I was going to do on here, and it's taken me a while to do this. But at the time, it was my daily driver. But not no more. Still need to go out and grind all these welds. But here I get the wren sort of mounted in it. And I can roll it outside and grind on it. So the next thing I need to do is go get my console and put the mouse in here where I want the console to be. Grab the shifter and kind of space it. Got the seats in there where they're supposed to be. Got the console mounted. That's the shifter I'm going to use. It's not mounted yet. Not worried about that at the moment. Cleaned out a bunch of junk in here. Side on what I need to do yet. Besides pull the motor and tranny out. Did uh, weld up another hole in there. It's for the air conditioner. It's just not going to have air conditioning on it. See that hole right there. Down outside to a vent. It plugs off the I'm guessing is what makes it recirculate air in here, but anyways. Got the shifter there. Not sure what height I want it at. I can slide it up and down with the brackets. I think it's the light truck version. Don't want it sitting too close to the floor. You want to be comfortable when you're driving. This is the major shifter. Right there is not bad. It could go down a little bit. It'd be nice if my arm was sitting on the console, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. Anyways, I need to wash these seats. They stink. Smell like a cat was peeing on them or something. You know, I stand being there so long. <laughs> Thank you.